Today we're going to be exploring Sri Lanka's southern coast, seeing some of its beautiful beaches, cool cafes and crazy wildlife. And hopefully see a Sri Lankan leopard. Good morning from South Sri Lanka. We are currently in Marissa on the south coast of the country. We have just arrived at one of the famous Instagram spots here in Marissa. You're going to love this place. It is covered in palm trees. Here we go. This is Coconut Tree Hill. And if you've been on Instagram and looked at Sri Lanka, this spot will probably come up. It's pretty cool because you can watch all the waves and I think you can actually see turtles around here, which we will go and see later. Even at 6 a.m. in the morning, there is quite a few people here. This is how popular this place is. It's kind of weird here. It's so barren, like the palm trees just stick out of nowhere. There's no plants. It looks kind of strange, but still cool. One of the things with the dogs is you have to be very careful because some of them can be a little bit aggressive, but generally they are fine. But as you can see, this dog behind me is a little bit injured. Um, there's a few like vets and kind of things and start startups which are trying to like help the dogs. There are dogs everywhere. Wherever we've been in Sri Lanka, there is dogs. Probably more dogs than people. Hey, Mr. Doggo, I hope you're feeling better soon. One of the very popular things to do here in Marissa is actually snorkel with turtles. And every single day, you can actually see turtles here at the beach. Now we haven't done it, but I did do it five years ago and they are literally just off the beach. You can kind of see a lot of people here just snorkeling with them. So let's go in and see if we can find any. I'm so excited. <laughs> so we have our own masks, but you can actually rent a load of masks here if you don't have them yourself. Let's go find some turtles. Here we go. <laughs> The amount of turtles in this bay is absolutely crazy. There is so many. In just 20 minutes, we saw five different turtles. And as you saw, the clarity of the water is not great, which makes it even more surprising. If you want to come to this spot, it's called Turtle Point. Highly recommend it. This is the main Marissa beach, which is where everyone comes swimming, sunbathing kind of thing, because a lot of the other beaches in the area are all like mostly surfing. If you're more of a beach person than like a surfer, then Marissa is probably the best place to like base yourself on the south coast. As it's only 8 a.m., there's no one on the beach at the moment, but it does get a lot busier, doesn't it? We got it all to ourselves. It's like 8.30 now and I'm pretty hungry. We're gonna head to one of our favorite places here that we've been to like every day. Yeah, <laughs> they literally know us there now. So we've just come into our favorite cafe for breakfast. This is Shady Lane. I've just got myself a piccolo and the coffee here is amazing. This restaurant's like a vegan, vegetarian, healthy food restaurant. They've got incredible smoothie bowls, which obviously we're gonna get and show you in a minute. And they've got other like burrito bowls and stuff as well. I've just got this mango mantra smoothie bowl and it is honestly incredible. We've been here for the last six days in a row. Breakfast here is amazing. Look at this fresh mango. Some of the best mangoes we've had have been in Sri Lanka. This is what you can get for £25 a night in Marissa. We're about a 10 minute walk from the beachfront, so a little bit further back, but that means you get much better value. So this is our big bed, pretty huge. And then our desk area, all our stuff because we're in backpacks. Then through here, we have a really nice balcony area where we're actually just drying our clothes. Because yesterday we got caught in a massive rainstorm and we got absolutely soaked. It's actually been pretty rainy here in Sri Lanka. Considering December is supposed to be dry season, it's been pretty wet. We've had rain pretty much every single day and no real good sunset. So hopefully today, we might get one. We've actually been on the south coast for about 10 days now. We spent the first few days in Herigatea, Dikwela area, which is like north, southeast about an hour further east. It's a really cool area. It's supposed to be like quite up and coming, but we just found it super busy. It's like everyone's suddenly like, oh, this is the big Instagram where everyone goes. And it just seemed really crowded. Now, one of the things I am very reliant on when I'm traveling is my phone. Along with my passport and wallet, it's the one thing I never want to lose. Which is why I'm excited to share with you a way in which you can protect your phone with nomad insurance by Safety Wing. Safety Wing, who are the partners of today's video, have actually added a great new feature to their nomad insurance to point out in which you can protect electronic items 
from theft by clicking the electronic theft add-on. This can cover anything from a camera, a laptop, or even your smartphone. But just one thing to note is this is not yet available for US residents. It's coming in the future, it's just not available yet. Now I've stupidly not had my phone covered for about a year now, and with all the dependence I have on this device, it is a risk. If it were to get stolen with this new feature, I do not need to stress as it would be covered. As you may be aware, this is just an add-on feature and Safe Doing covers you for all types of activities and medical situations whilst you're abroad. If you've been following this channel for a while now, you'll know Amelia and I have both been covered for over two years now, which is why I highly recommend getting yourself covered with a reptile company like Safe Doing. And you'll be protected if something happens to go wrong. If you are interested in getting yourself covered with Safe Doing, I will leave a link in the description. Now I think it's time to head out somewhere along the coast towards the west. I think it's around Anagama. Let's get on the bike, let's go. Here we are. So we've not arrived in Anagama. This is between Weligama and Midigama, and this is Coconut Beach. Let's go check it out. So over here in the distance, we've actually got the traditional Sri Lankan stick fishing. Basically, they are fishing on these sticks in the middle of the water, and I don't know why, but it, maybe it helps you catch fish or something, but it's pretty cool. It's a lot of the classic photos I've seen of Sri Lanka are of these. Now we heard from another guy that apparently a lot of the stick fishing doesn't actually happen anymore. It's more set up for tourists, and they often try and charge you like 500 rupees or 1,000 rupees to take, just to take a photo. But on this beach, Coconut Beach, they seem to just be doing it. I don't know if it's because it's a Saturday, People got time off to fish, but yeah. There's one dog over there who's patiently looking at the fisherman. I think he might be waiting for his dinner or maybe one of them his owner. He's quite excited about the fishing here. <laughs> one of the issues with Sri Lanka, because it's a big surf destination, you can't swim anywhere because there's lots of rocks in the water. So this beach, I don't think is the best for actually swimming. Whereas where we went earlier, Marissa Beach is perfect. Obviously it's still a bit wavy, but still much easier to swim than here because of all the rip currents, it can be a little bit dangerous. The current is so strong, it's like dragging my legs out. Ooh. And in. This guy behind me just came up to us and asked us if we wanted a coconut. So we've got two and he said, I'll be back in five minutes. One coconut. Oh, it's pretty good coconut and I think it was 500 for two, which is, yeah, it's not bad. Usually they're about 100, so it was a bit more expensive, but it's good. We are just out here watching the surfers. I don't... Whoa, look at that guy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. take Whoa. down. There's some big waves out there. We are definitely not that pro. We're just on the beginner waves in Weligama. It's so cool just watching the surfers do their thing and hopefully dreaming one day that we can do that. Not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think there's gonna be a sunset as you can see in the background, it's pretty cloudy. Any of the beaches along the south coast are good normally for sunset. But I think there is a storm potentially coming behind us. So I'm hoping that's yeah. not Yeah, that doesn't look too pretty. But we're gonna probably head back now and we're gonna show you somewhere beautiful to have dinner if you're staying in Marissa. We're gonna run off because it is looking very stormy and we don't wanna get caught on the bike. And we have just managed to get back before the rain. It's probably going to start in about five minutes. We showered and then the rain began. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to go to the place because it was like a really nice outdoor seating area. What we're going to do is we're going to actually cut to lunch tomorrow where we're going to show you this beautiful, almost like super barley kind of style restaurant. It's beautiful. Cut to them. Here we are. We've just arrived at the Slow. This is a vegan restaurant, but it looks beachfront. So here I've ordered a vegan rice and curry, like the traditional Sri Lankan one, which is honestly my favorite. It's a lot more expensive here, I think, because it's a vegan restaurant, but it looks incredibly good. I've got this jackfruit burger with sweet potato fries. And if you haven't had a jackfruit burger, it's honestly so good. Just incredible. Mm. I think it's a pumpkin curry, but it is so tasty, honestly. One of my favorite curries I've had here in Sri Lanka. And we are back. I hope you guys enjoyed that vegan restaurant straight out of Bali. We've got to get up early tomorrow because we are heading to somewhere very special and unique to Sri Lanka. And I'm really hoping it's going to stop raining because it is literally pouring out there. I don't know if you can hear. Yeah. We'll see you in the morning.
Good morning. It's currently 4.30 a.m. and we're about to be picked up to go on a completely different adventure this morning. I am pretty excited for this one. If you haven't guessed already, we're going on a safari. We have just entered Yala National Park. Big land, ready to shoot some action. <laughs> We're hunting for leopards. I don't know what we've seen, but it started reversing. Definitely looking for something. The leopard was just seen crossing the road up there, so hopefully it's going to come round. <gasps> but obviously, we have no idea. After 20 minutes of waiting, the leopard never came out. We drove deeper into the park searching for these leopards, but we saw so much wildlife along the way. Well, it's just like gone under. The driver got a call that there was a herd of elephants hiding in the bush, so we headed in that direction. Whoa! That was so cool. Whoa! So unfortunately, we did not see the leopard. Apparently at the moment, because it has been raining so much, it's very hard to see the leopards because obviously when it's dry season, they go to the watering holes and that's like the best time to catch a glimpse of the famous leopard here. We booked this trip with Get Your Guide and there's loads of different options on the website. So if you want to do one of the Yala National Parks or the other national parks in Sri Lanka, there's lots of options on there. I'll leave a link to it in the description. We're just going to exit the park now and head back to where we're staying. What an amazing morning that was. Unfortunately, we didn't see the leopards, but hopefully in dry season, see it's already raining again. Hopefully in dry season, you'll have a lot better chance of seeing them. And just doing something completely different to other parts of Asia, going on a safari, I feel like that's just more of an African thing, whereas you can do it here in Sri Lanka. Everywhere I look and comparing it to five years ago when I came to Sri Lanka, this country is just blowing up. It's all over Instagram. Everyone kind of wants to come here, come for that rustic kind of feel. And it is super cheap and it is just a beautiful country. As you kind of see in the south coast is maybe not the most beautiful beach you've ever seen, but it is still a really cool vibe and if you're a surfer, you're gonna love it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please go down and hit the subscribe button. The next videos I'm gonna give you an itinerary and a full on guide of everything you need to know about coming to this beautiful country. Hopefully it stops raining. We'll see you in the next one.